If I'm in a state where I'm getting into resistance, where I'm getting into this anger place, where I feel resentful and I feel all of those kind of emotions, I need to look seriously at what I am trying to run away from. Now, most of the time, we try to run away from things because we, are, we, we, we get so much judgment from everyone around us about what we're trying to do that straight away we start judging ourselves about what we're trying to do. And then we shut ourselves down. And the only thing that can happen after we shut ourselves down, which is denying our emotion, is one of these things. There's a third place. How do you spell alternatives? We look for alternatives. We search for alternatives. Now what do I mean by that? We say to ourselves, well, yeah, AJ doesn't know everything about emotional processing. And, you know, I've had 30 years of, uh, of stuff too, you know. like so. And I've heard that this tapping thing really works. And I've heard that this other thing really works. And I've heard that this, you know, touching certain parts of your body will cause you to, to, to get to your emotions, is what we often say to ourselves. And so what we try then is we try less less in our face alternatives to dealing with the emotion. How many of you have tried this in the last few months? Like, tried to actually say, no, no let's go down a different path here because it's just still getting a bit complicated. Like, most people do at some point. So what I wanted to do today, just briefly, before I got started on the real topic I wanted to talk about, is I wanted to warn you in advance that you will probably go through these cycles. And you will probably get to a point when you're in some dark emotions, you'll probably get to a point where you want to get out of those emotions and you will possibly get to a point where you will want to do anything you can to get out of them. And you need to notice what's going on inside of you at that moment. Now at that moment, the moment that you choose to get away from what I would call the divine truth, the truth about how the soul really works, you will actually at that moment also be the most amount, have the most amount of spirit influence trying to get you out of that place as well. Now the reason why that's happening today is that there's a whole band of spirits in the first sphere of the spirit world. So those of you, how many haven't seen the introductory DVDs? Is there any? who just haven't seen, just a few of you. My suggestion is if you can watch those, you'll understand some of the things that I'm talking about. But in the first sphere of the spirit world, there is a whole huge band of spirits who, who want the earth to remain in its current condition or be in a worse condition. Why? The reason why is that they actually use people on earth to actually satisfy their own emotional injuries. Right? So let's say I'm a drunkard who's just passed into the spirit world. I can't get drink in the spirit world anymore, so what do I want? I want to go with a guy who I can connect to and overcloak in a material sense, get him to drink himself senseless, and that way I can have some of that feeling. Now if I'm a guy who's just passed into the spirit world, and because I've been a bit of a dark, you know, dark in terms of my emotions, guy on earth with regard to the way I've treated women, I'm surrounded, instead of by all these lovely women that I'd like to have relationships with, I'm surrounded by all these men who are the same as me. <laughs> now, how would you feel if you were like that? <laughs> so what does he do? He comes back to earth and he tries to find some men on earth that he can actually vicariously satisfy some of those sexual based emotions that he's got going on. Now if you multiply that by millions and millions and millions and millions of spirits, there are billions of spirits in this state you can see how much influence there is on earth to do things negatively. Now the only way they can manipulate you is for you to deny your emotions. Because if you accept all of your emotions, they can't manipulate them. So the problem is, is when you get into this state, you are actually from that moment allowing yourself now to be heavily manipulated and you won't even probably notice it because you're in the anger or you're in the fear or you're in the doubt or you're in whatever it is the emotion you're in 
And instead of owning it and experiencing it, what you're doing instead is denying it. And as soon as you deny it, that straight away leaves you open to manipulation. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. All right. So my suggestion is, understand that this is probably going to happen to you on this path. That there is probably going to be a time when you feel the emotion inside of you is so big that you just can't cope with, the top, with even contemplating experiencing it. And in that state, that is, a, like, that is the time you need to be aware of what you're doing. The choice to run away, the choice to avoid is going to cause additional issues for you. And there will be times, how many of you have felt times that you actually cursed the day you ever met me? <laughs> be honest, oh, no, I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few. And, and there's more of you than that. Um, and that's, that's the way it is. And the reason why is because it opens up this Pandora's box of emotion inside of ourselves. And then, like, often when we're processing an emotion, what do we want to do? We want to blame the person that triggered it for us rather than, rather than experience the emotion.